Extra Hop has been a key tool for network troubleshooting um, in use by our clients for over a decade now. Uh, due to the unique ways that Extra Hop processes data, there are a myriad of different use cases that can suit a whole host of different teams uh, for our clients. Uh, specifically, large financial customers, there are often very siloed responsibilities between the security, uh, network operations, applications teams. However, a, a single instance of Extra Hop VLX can be useful to all of those teams. Now, I want to focus now more on the latter two use cases for the NetOps and app teams. Um, Due to how XROP processes data, uh, we're looking at raw packets um, and we're fully protocol aware. So where, where most tools would stop at more of like a simple port-based analysis, XROP is able to fully reassemble that TCP conversation at line rate, at scale, uh, and decrypt it. See our website for more information on that if it's interesting to you. Uh, once reassembled, uh, we extract the layer three to layer seven data and we save that index for your use for your analysis. So. Um, uh, all the associated devices, all the associated conversations are all sort of discovered and populated into the system. Uh, you're seeing here a list of just the active devices that I see on my network. So um, NetOps teams, to start with that example, can dive into a specific device. Let's say you're getting users at one of your locations reporting um, um, network instability, things like that. You can dive into specific devices if you think it's something that's to do with uh, you know, a, a server that's operating on a network, you can go take a look at that, see, hey, what's the server doing? How is it operating? What kinds of activity is it doing? Who's it talking to? All that good stuff. But I can dive deep specifically into the actual like network operations, uh, 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 see throughput, um, broken out by protocol, um, things like latency, round trip timing, um, uh, fragmentation, QoS tags are all processed here and presented without you needing to go and look at raw packet, right? Usually you'd have to go and look at raw packets to get this information. We store it all here in our UI for you to access. Same thing with TCP information. If we need to troubleshoot negotiation issues, um, uh, round trip timing, um, things like TCP windowing or zero window issues, you can see all of that um, in this UI in just a few clicks. Now contrast that to more what the like application teams would be looking at. They want higher level data, right? This is kind of two in the weeds for them generally. So they might want to go and look at like an application that they have set up a dashboard for. Uh, this is just an example one I have in my demo. Uh, it's a load balancer in front of two web servers in front of a database server. Um, but it could be a much more complex application. This just gets the conversation started. Um, here we've taken all of sort of the KPIs from all these different systems, mostly like end user response components. You can see a lot of these here, put them into a single dashboard so I can go and look at a certain time. Okay, well now I have users that are utilizing a business tool. Um, could be something customer facing that's processing, uh, you know, live customer data, credit card data, things like that. I can go and look at the, all the processing components of that and see, um, well, hey, I've got a spike and uh, average response rate in my request transfer time, that's not high, but my server processing time is high, all right? So I can kind of start narrowing down where I have these issues um, and look at it all through the different parts of the stack from the front end web server through the load balancer all the way to the back end. Uh, and if I see like database issues, right? I can go and say, hey, show me those errors, just as an example. I've got too many connections coming in um, and hitting my database here, which is preventing new connections from being established. Great, show me more information. Okay, well, here's the time, date stamp of when it happened. Here's the client originating these connections, where they came from, uh, and the error they received. So a lot of great uh, use cases to dive into here. This is just a very high level, very quick overview. Uh, if this is interesting to you and you'd like to have a, a deeper conversation, let us know. Uh, always be happy to jump on with uh, clients, the prospective clients, and, and talk more about this. Thank you so much for your time.